This week in Come Follow Me, I thought it'd be really fun to draw a tree with deep roots. Now trees, a lot of times they have to stand up in the strong weather that could push the tree over, but if they have these strong roots, it keeps it strong. Which reminds me of this man that you might have learned about in Come Follow Me this week called King Hezekiah. And it says that he was so true to the Lord that he never faltered and there was never a king before him or after him that was like him. And the reason he was able to stay so strong, just like this tree, is because he had deep roots. And these deep roots represent going to things like the scriptures or listening to the prophets or sharing our testimonies with our family or going to church. These are all things that can make us be strong, just like King Hezekiah. So let's get drawing this tree. I think this is gonna be a lot of fun. Let's go. Okay, so let's start drawing our tree. Now I think to help us here, it'd be good to turn our paper this direction to give us enough room to draw our tree and then all the roots underneath it. So to split our page in half, let's just draw a line in the middle of the page. It doesn't have to go all the way from the side to the other side if you don't want to, but you probably wanna get really close. So I'm gonna put a dot right here and then a dot over on the other side and that way I know where I'm starting my line from and where I'm trying to get it to. And that helps me to get a better line. So here I go. We're gonna start on this end and go all the way across. Good, now we have a place where we can draw our tree and then draw all the strong roots that help it to stay up in the wind or whatever kinds of challenges might come to that tree. So to start our tree, let's draw what's called the canopy, which is you know, those big leafy parts that you see on trees. <laughs> so I'm gonna draw a big circle right here and get it up high in the air. You don't want it touching the ground. And I'm just gonna do a big oval right up here. And that's gonna be my main canopy or my part that has all the leaves on it. And maybe we well, wanna have a couple more of those but before we do that, let's draw the trunk of the tree. And to do that, we can draw two lines down, but we probably want it to be a nice thick trunk, so you probably don't wanna go in the center of the tree. You probably wanna go a little bit off to the side for one side of the trunk. And you can put a dot here again if it helps you, and then you can put a dot here on the ground where you want it to end, and then you can draw that trunk down to the ground and it doesn't have to be perfect because I've seen all kinds of trunks or maybe you even want to make it twist a little bit. That's up to you. But I'm just going to do these straight ones and then I'm going to do another one over to the other side and then I can decide how thick I want it to be. So I think I want my trunk to be about that thick. Now we can add maybe a couple more canopies on here and you can have an overlap Overlap means it goes behind or in front of something. So I'm gonna draw another oval right here, but it's gonna kinda of go into the tree a little bit, but I don't wanna draw inside the tree because I wanna make it look like it's behind this part. So I'm gonna just start my circle down here, and I'm gonna go like this and then just end it when I get to the other part of my tree. And then maybe it might be fun to have a little one out here all by itself. So now we've got a few different circles here, and now we wanna connect them all to the tree. So you can make your branches however you want. So you can make a line that comes from here over to here. For now, you just have to do one. And then you can make it thicker by drawing another line that follows the same path as your other line. And now you can see how that's connected to this tree right here. And so let's do another one right here and connect this one. Maybe this one connects down lower on the tree. Branches come out all over the place to help these leaves get all the nourishment that they need from the sun. All right, so now we have this beautiful outline for our tree. And to make it look like there's some leaves in here, we can do a bunch of U's inside of the tree and just do a few in different places. And then they look kind of like leaves. 
or you could do V's if you want to have sharp leaves. There's all kinds of leaves. I think doing these U's is really fun. And you don't have to put them everywhere, just put them in a couple places. And you can see how that looks kind of like leaves up in the tree. And then do that on the other parts of your tree too. All right, so now I've got some leaves in the tree. Maybe you wanna put some lines in the trunk. There's all kinds of different types of bark on trees. There's a lot of variety in the world that we live in. <clears throat> all right, so now that we have this beautiful tree up here and we wa don't want it to fall down, so we need to put some really strong roots down in here. And now the roots of a tree, they help it so it can stay up and get strong and it also helps them to get water from lots of different places so that it can be strong and healthy. If there were only little roots in here, it's really easy for this big heavy tree to fall over. But if they go everywhere, it'll be so much stronger. So let's make some roots that go kind of all over the place. And I think this is gonna be really fun because you can have your roots go wherever you want them to. So we can take our lines down just a little bit further with our trunk. And that's where all of our roots are gonna come out. And so to do this, we can just take a line and we can go whatever direction we want. Maybe I want one of my roots to come all the way over here to get some water or some nourishment or something that will help this tree to be strong. And maybe I'll have another one come over this way. Now, to make this a little bit thicker, we can do the same thing and we can go back. Maybe we start at this point and then we just go a little bit out like this and then we can just follow our line all the way back to our tree. And that is one trunk. And you don't have to go all the way across. Just stop when you get back here if you want to because then that can make room for us to send down another route. So we can start from there and we can just go down somewhere else. Maybe we go really deep down into the ground because it's really gonna be hard for this tree to fall over if there's a deep root here. And it probably takes a lot of work and time for these trees to get their roots down in the ground, just like it's important for us to do a lot of the things that God commanded us to do. We have to do it a lot. We do these things every day. We go to church, we read our scriptures, and here you can see I'm doing another root you can do curvy lines if you want to on your roots. And then it can be fun to just kind of follow your path all the way back to the tree. And you can do as many of these as you want. I'm gonna do one more right here. And then when you run out of space, when you get back, you can do the line to the first one that you did over here. And you can start on this side and follow it over, or you can start back from this side. And you can follow your root all the way back. So you can see I did these roots in these directions. You can go different directions you want, but it's really important that they just really spread out and go to different places. And now one thing, if you wanna pause the video and do this, I think this would be really fun, but you could draw little pictures next to each one of these roots to things that help you to be strong in the Lord. Like maybe you could write, put a picture of some scriptures right here or put a picture of your family or maybe draw a temple or your church building or maybe your friends help you stay strong in the church. So you could put little pictures of things that help you, maybe like praying. So you can draw those things on here as little reminders of this is what I do to stay strong in the Lord because then we can remember those things and it can help our tree be strong. So then when things get really hard and the wind's blowing and we have lots of challenges, then we have these strong roots that help us know what things are important to us and help us to want to stay close to our Heavenly Father. All right, so let's go ahead and start coloring this tree. Now, when I look out in the world, there's all kinds of different colors of trees. There's different colors of trunks. There's different colors of leaves, especially if you live in places where you have a nice fall time where you get reds and oranges and yellows. 
So you pick whatever colors you want here. I think for fun, I'm gonna do a couple different colors on my tree. I think maybe I'm gonna do this part red, maybe this part orange and this one yellow, just cause I really like fall colors. I think those can be really fun. But maybe you wanna do summertime and you wanna make this green and maybe make one of these blue or make them all the same color. This is your important tree that you love that has your roots on it. So you can pick the colors that you like and you can use crayons or markers or whatever you like. So I'm gonna get this orange here and I'm gonna color this main part orange. And one of the things that we can think of why we're coloring this picture is maybe some things that we can do to stay strong in the Lord. Because we don't wanna lose this beautiful tree, right? We wanna stay close to our Heavenly Father who loves us. So there's me, a whole bunch of orange that I put up there. And then I wanted to do another one of them red. So maybe I'll do this little one red. All right. And then I'll get another yellow. This almost looks like bright, fiery colors, doesn't it? I feel so grateful that I get to live in a world that has so many pretty colors and things like trees and stuff that can teach us lessons and help us understand the gospel better. We can use things like this as an example. And now for the trunk of my tree, I'm gonna use this brown color. And I think that's what King Hezekiah did is throughout his life in the scriptures, it says that he always followed the Lord that he always followed the Lord and that he kept his covenants. And that was just like sending out these strong roots because he would read his scriptures and he would pray. And that way when things got really difficult, and I imagine that if you're a king and you're a righteous king, that it's very important for you to follow God so that you can teach all of your people to follow God. But it's also important for us because we can strengthen our families and the people around us when we do the things that our Heavenly Father has asked us to do, like read our scriptures and go to church. And you hear us say those things all the time in church because of how important they are, because they can bring us happiness and they can make us strong just like this tree. So I'm just going ahead and doing all my roots the same color as my tree. But you could do, I think a pretty color to do a trunk is purple. I don't know if I've ever seen a purple tree trunk, but I think it can be a really pretty color. All right, so I got all of that. And then if you want to, another fun thing is you could decorate all this area up here. You could put some grass lines up here. Maybe I'll get a darker green too. You can use different colors of green and you can just put little lines up here and that kind of make it look like there's some grass you could even draw some flowers. I mean, you could just have a lot of fun with this. You could put little rocks in the ground because there's all kinds of things in the ground. And then, like I was saying before, it might be really fun to put a little picture next to each one of these roots for things that you can do to help stay strong in the Lord. All right, so this is my finished picture of my tree with my roots. Now let's do my favorite part and let's show you some trees that some other kids made. So right here, we have three other trees, and you can see how they're all very different. They have very different colors for the tops of the trees. This one's like mine, and this one's green. This one has blues and reds. They're all very beautiful. And my favorite part is we can watch where all these roots go, and they point to things that make your tree stronger. You can see right here that this one has a picture of a temple, and they have some scriptures here, and they have their family. Here we have more scriptures. We have church, a temple, temples which help us keep our covenants. And you have a family here. And I think families can be one of the strongest things in helping our trees be strong. 
And right here, you can see that this one has really strong roots going all over the place, keeping this tree strong, just like King Hezekiah. He read his scriptures, he prayed all the time, and that's why he was such a special king, because he stayed true to the Lord, and then he was blessed when things got really difficult so that his tree didn't fall over. So I had a lot of fun drawing with you guys. I can't wait to see you next time. We'll see you later. Bye. Thank you.